Hi, I'm Vanessa Garofalo, and this is from the Memoirs of a Modern Librarian. This episode is on quick tips and shortcuts for database searching. Databases are great tools for doing research on any given topic. They are equipped with numerous features that aid the user in finding useful and reliable information. Some database platforms include EBSCO, ProQuest, SpringerLink, and more. But here's the problem. Many people struggle with using databases. Not only that, but many users are unaware of the many features that databases have to make searching more effective. As we live in a Google generation, people tend to be used to the single search box of search engines. Though search engines are a one-stop shop for websites, blogs, wikis, and more, they're not the ideal place for doing scholarly research. Search engines retrieve results using algorithms that combine the popularity and relevance of a link, among other things. On the other hand, databases retrieve relevant results based on specific keywords or subject terms used. Results can also be narrowed based on number of limiters such as publication year, subject, and format. Databases contain journals, newspapers, and other sources, many of which have undergone peer review. Many times, a person sees the default basic search page of a research database and it reminds them of the single search box they see when using search engines. And the catch is, they're not the same. So here are a few tips and shortcuts for using databases. Tip number one, try using the advanced search within a database. This gives you more than one box and allows you to search several relevant keywords at once. Tip number two, use the Boolean operators and or not to combine your keywords in a single search. Okay, so now I'm sure you're asking yourselves, what are Boolean operators? Huh? Boolean operators are used to connect your keywords together and allow you to broaden or narrow your search and allows you to search two or more terms together. For example, social media and blogs. Or allows you to search two or more similar terms together. For example, social networking and Facebook or MySpace. Not allows you to exclude a term from your search. For example, social media, not wikis. Tip number three. If you know you're looking for the entire article, check the box next to the full text limiter. This will give you the results that include PDF or HTML full text of the resource. Also, check the box next to scholarly or peer reviewed to ensure that you're finding results in scholarly journals. Tip number four, be careful about doing a search that is too broad or too narrow. If you were to search the keyword social media and ProQuest Central, you would see that the database found over four million results. Obviously, that's too many to sift through. But you may also notice that not all of them are about social media. So here's another tip. Tip number five. Use quotation marks around a compound term. In our example, this ensures that the database doesn't split apart the words social and media. Also, try to be more specific and add another keyword that focuses on a certain type of social media, such as blogs. If you find that you're still getting too many results, then look for where you can narrow them down. You can often narrow by source type, publication year, subject, and so on. And don't forget to use those full text and peer reviewed limiters. Tip number six. If you're not sure what the best keywords to use for your research topic are, try using the subject terms index or thesaurus in a database to find the best term. For example, when we search for social media in the subject terms area in EBSCO's Academic Search Complete, we see that it is an index subject term in that database. You can also find broader, narrower, and related terms here. However, when you search social media in the thesaurus in ProQuest Central, we see that social networks is the recommended subject or keyword to use instead of social media. Tip number seven. Another way to use a database is to search within a certain publication. For example, you can do a search within the magazine technology review for articles on social media. Once you find an article you want in a database, you can save, print, or export it. But a great shortcut that will help you in the long run is the cite feature. The cite feature that many databases have allows you to first select the citation style you want, then it will create the citation that you would use on your references or works cited page in a paper. This is a huge time saver. So there are a few tips and shortcuts to help make your database searches a little easier and more effective. Just remember that using research databases is not an exact science. For the most part, it's simply trial and error. But take the time to explore the different features that databases have and try to do more focused searches. It will save you a lot of time in the long run. As always, if you need help throughout the research process, don't hesitate to contact a librarian for help. 
Thank you for watching this installment of From the Memoirs of a Modern Librarian. Be sure to check out our other videos for your information needs.